Hi, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Today we're doing a iOS 8 update on the iPad Air. So it's a little bit delayed due to me just flying back into the country. But first of all, you had to make sure there was 6.7 gig free. So this is really big for some reason. So if we just go back here, go software update. I'm going to hit download and install. I'm going to agree to Apple's agreements. So it's just going to start downloading now. It takes roughly 20 odd minutes. I know some people had issues when it first came out on the 17th. It's now on the 19th, so it should be fine. So we'll come back when it's downloaded. And we're just coming up to the end there. It's taken about roughly half an hour to do. It's quite a big file. So, so it's just saying now it's ready to install. So we'll let it just carry on. Let's go tap install here. So it's just restarting there, and it's just going to bring up a loading bar. Didn't take too long from here. So I'll do, I'll pause this and then I'll come back when we're done. It's coming up into the first bit of the install, so what's going to do after this is going to reset, check everything again, just quickly fly through this line again, and then we'll be running iOS 8. So is it restarting? So it's just going to go through the process quickly again just to check everything. So there we go, we're going to hello. So it's unlock, update complete, so hit continue. We are going to enable location. So it's just asking for your Apple ID password desk, terms and conditions, agrees down here at the bottom, agree again here. Okay, so it's iCloud Drive. It's asking, do we want the passcode? I'm just going to skip this. Continue. Send Apple. You don't send it. Welcome to iPad. Let's get started. So you can see here, there's some new applications. All my old stuff still on there. So let's just have a quick jump in, show you the settings, show you about, let's see here, running iOS 8, if I just zoom in there. So here, running iOS 8.0. Zoom back out. Just going to show you, um, Displays. I'm going to change the display a little bit. You can see the new ones here. So we're going to jump into this one. Let's go back. There you go, you can see the nice display there. Pull up menu now with a few new features. I'm just going to take off Bluetooth. Double, double tap. Now you can see the new notification area with the new stuff at the top as well. Pull down from the top. And of course, you've still got Siri. Got podcasts and other applications. I was told this one, no, this one doesn't go. Then the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus that do landscape mode in a different way compared to the iPad. But thanks always for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.